still can't believe Chris is dating a Barrington. They own this whole club. Yeah, look at all this luxury. It's like being in a gay guy's dream. Enjoying the view? It's glorious, Edwin. Would you like another salad bowl of chocolate-covered oysters? Is that gay enough? And then some. This has been the gayest vacation I've ever had. I love smelling me on your breath. Peter, what are you doing here? You're not a member. And that means me and the other jocks get to throw you in the pool. Hey, Banks, Duffy, get over here. This guy's going for a swim. Grab him. <coughs> All right, you're kind of heavy, so, so, so we're going to pee on you. Not happening. All right. All right, we'll just spit on you. Oh, nothing we have works. Daddy, we're here to have brunch with the Barringtons. The Barringtons? How is that possible? That family is the pinnacle of high society. They, they haven't worked in eight generations. All the kids have drug problems. Most of them have OD'd. That's terrible. Well, not all kids make it, Lois. Just ask the Sugar Smacks frog. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've lost two more. What should we do about the graves? Dig em. You look really handsome today, Chris. Thanks, Amanda. Hey, Chris, say it. I use Stuart Griffin Facial Cleanser. Try some. Give her the website. StewieGriffinFacial.com. No, 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 that, that, that's something else. It's StewieGriffinFacialCleanser.com. Hey, listen, Mr. Barrington, your, your granddaughter ain't no tease, right? Because Chris really wants to get in there. Oh, you're a funny guy, Griffin. I like that. Oh, well, you should hear my prank phone calls. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? You, what? Why? <laughs> I don't know. They all kind of look the same. What do you mean, they all look the same? Hey, there's all my favorite people. Oh, no, not this suck-up. Ah, what are we talking about? Black people? Mexicans? Jews? <laughs> so good to see you, Barrington. Hey, hey, where are we going today, Reginald? Huh? Huh? Where are we going today? You and me as pals, ain't we, Reginald? Peter Schmidt, settle down. I was having a nice conversation with Peter. Uh, Peter, why don't you tell me more about your job? You said you like to drink at work? I do. Oh, me too. Me too. I'll drink anything. Even that hollandaise sauce. Give me that. <laughs> Hey, Brian. Meg's Benedict. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha. Oh, God. Oh. Stop. Stop. Oh, Stop. I'm sorry man. I even said it. I'm so It was a mistake. <laughs> it was a mistake. I'm sorry I said it. Peter, why don't you and I grab some air, huh? Daddy, you're making a fool out of yourself. Why are you acting like this? Look, I've been trying to get into Reginald Barrington's inner circle for years. They've been the most elite family in this country ever since it was founded. They were the ones who invented the buckle on the hat. Hey, I like your zipper hat. I like your zipper hat. Morning, fellas. Oh, that's gonna be a game changer. Do you hunt, Peter? Well, I went to three stores to find this shirt. <laughs> Peter, you, you've got Moxie. I like that. Hey, I've got Moxie, too. Watch this. Carmen Miranda, Carmen Miranda. Was she a singer? Was she a dancer? Nobody knows. They just remember the fruit. <laughs> Pewter Schmidt, you imbecile. You think that's funny? Wasting fruit? There are people dying in hilarious places. That is it. You are officially kicked out of this club. What? Griffin, we just had an opening. Congratulations, you are now a member. Oh, my God, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy at home eating catnip. <laughs>